It's Mo from Mo and Dam, and here's Dam. I'm just gonna be watching today. Oh, come on, Dam. <laughs> you in this camera? I might hand her a tool. <laughs> so I guess you're wondering why I'm hiding behind this humongous flower spray, and I will tell you why. A friend of mine, Miss Diane, lost her father back in the fall, and um, she messaged me and asked me if I would take one of their silk arrangements, one of their silk sprays and make her mother a wreath um, from it with the flowers from her father's funeral. Of course, I said I would. Unfortunately, I've been super busy, and here it is, spring, and I'm just not getting around to it. But Diane, it's happening tonight. It's going down. So <laughs> What a great idea to do that <laughs> yes. and have these as such a good memory. Right. For and her, actually, y'all, there's enough flowers in this spray. You could <coughs> probably make three or four wreaths or maybe yeah. a wreath and a huge arrangement or whatever. Tonight, we're going to use a grapevine wreath. So, pretty picture. Yeah, so um, <laughs> grapevine wreaths are really fun to work with and they, um, you know, they're just timeless. They never really go out of style. So, we're going to use a grapevine wreath and I'm going to just pull out some flowers from here and use those and just I'm just gonna kind of pick them out Debbie okay. and I think what we're gonna get first I always start with greenery and these things are put in there really strong so yeah I think I think we're gonna have to probably snip them out All right. you need me to hold it maybe let's see there go. let me see I can get it out. It's probably, yeah, they're glued in. Okay, gotcha. So, um, can you see if my battery's running low? There you go. So, I'm going to start with some greenery. These are just some little fig leaves there. I'm going to take some of those out. With who? Probably four or five of those. Man, they, they didn't want this to go anywhere, I it's tell you not. It's not. It's really packed <laughs> in there tight. Yeah, I think they've glued them in. Okay, I'm going to just snip this one off at the base. Because I'm not going to need them to be that long anyhow. A couple more figs. Alright. Um, these right here I probably won't use. They're a little bit heavy for what I'm doing. They don't okay. look very springy to me. Um, they're more summery fall looking. So we'll just see. What um, about these? Is that some a, more fig? Is that what that is? I think okay. so. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we'll see if that's enough. Okay. All right, Deb, we're going to lay this aside. All right. And I'm going to show y'all where we're going to start here. All right. I like to start by putting my bow on first. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, there was a pretty um, burlap bow in that arrangement, but it was it was really rustic. So I've got some burlap ribbon here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit more dressy burlap, if that makes it sense. It is. It does make sense. Can, from what's can burlap be dressy? Well, <laughs> it is compared to what's yeah. in the arrangement already. Yeah, so I'm sure that uh, this got, this was probably left over from, a wedding or something that we did for we use burlap. So I'm just gonna make a bow. Is this, are you putting the bow at the top or the bottom or do you know yet? Um, I think I'm gonna put it on the side. Okay. I think this is gonna be a side okay, gotcha. arrangement, I think. You know me, Debbie, I'll know it when <laughs> I start poking stuff in. <laughs> it, 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 the creation just comes well, as it go, as you go. That's how I, that's how I roll for some reason. So do you have a number of loops that you put in the bows? Um, no, I, I really, just go till it feels really like can't it's say. Probably seven on each side. We'll see if that, I always know when it feels right. I got you. When I'm done. I understand. Yeah, I think that'd be enough this time. Okay, and I've got these nice little felted wire that I'm using. <clears throat> but you can use any wire, it's fine. 
This is just what I had. I'm gonna cinch it really tight. All right, <clears throat> so that looks kind of yucky, but here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna pull apart the loops oh, of my bow. Just no, I twisted them when I did the. Okay. When I, you know, put it together. Oh, so. yes. And with wired ribbon, y'all, don't be afraid to try to make a bow because with That's wired perfect. ribbon, just about anybody can make a bow. That is perfect. Wow. So there's your bow. How pretty is that? And that didn't take yeah. any time. It didn't take any time, and you saw how simple it was. Yeah, I mean, woman tried that. I mean, yeah, it might take a little bit of practice, but. What was that? <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what Tink's doing, but he's up to something. All right, so. She needs what? Right now? Something else. Huh? She's got to ask a question. Oh, about cookies? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to call you right back. Can you pause? Okay. So, as you see, the bow is ready for the wreath, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put my wire through the grapevine somewhere around in here in the middle on the side. So, you wouldn't wrap it around, you're going to go through? Yeah, I'm okay. just going to go through. That way, it's, I know that it's where secure. I want it to be. Yeah, and secure. I'll push it through. and then give it a twist on the back. And you can always move it around if you need to later. But if I have my bow, that's a good starting point. That's perfect. Yeah. It's a really pretty bow. <laughs> okay, so we'll be right back and I'll start adding some flowers. Okay, so we've got our bow on and now we're gonna start adding our flowers. Now. I like to use the longer stems as a kind of an anchor. They're not gonna be that long, but you get the idea. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this just a wee bit. Right in there. With my handy dandy wire cutters from the Ace Hardware. They are some good wire cutters, y'all. I'm gonna give it a little bit of glue on the end just so it won't slip out. And I'm going to tuck it right in behind that bow, just like so. Okay? Now, once the glue dries in there and it's set, you can bend them every which direction you want to with these wired silks. They're really good about that. So, but right now, we just want to build on what we're doing and we want to build the design. So, now I'm going to take another one just like that and it's going to be the underneath. So, more glue in here. And y'all, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just do, you just, you know, do what looks good to you. It doesn't have to be a certain way. Well, so, there's, already. <laughs> so there's just your basic, that's going to be our shape. We're going to go around this way, and we're going to go up over this mm -hmm. one. Now, I just wanted to put those flowers in there kind of as a guideline, but now what I'm going to add is some greenery behind that. So I'm going to start with these fig leaves. Whoops. I'm using this baby glue gun because my big glue gun tore up. So I'm going to have to get another one. You know, I see a lot of people, a lot of people using the, um, they're like a, not a crock pot. They're like a electric skillet with glue, glue in it. Yeah. I've not saw that. So the professional, the professional wreath makers, that's what they really? use. Yeah, they, they take that and they dip it in there and they poke oh. it in and it's like a lot quicker than what I'm doing Ooh, here. I'm not, I need to look at that, look that up. Yeah, it's like a electric skillet glue pot wow. or something like that. I've only ever had a glue gun. Glue gun, me too. And I have burned myself mm -hmm. plenty of times with yep. a glue gun. Really bad sometimes. It's 
So as you see, I'm just adding the greenery behind these flowers. I feel like when I do this, it just looks like a jumbled bunch of flowers, but you mm, make it look like not. something. Probably not, Deb. You're probably being too hard mm -hmm. on yourself. And I don't consider myself to be like a pro at this at all. I mean, I know people that are. And what you did? Chilton was a pro at this. She could make any kind of wreath. She was really good at it. I think you're a pro. You do a good Beth job. Allen. Yes, Beth Allen. Our sweet friend. Yep. All right. I'm going to add one more. I don't like mine too greenery. I mean, I just really don't. Mm -hmm. I like the flowers to show up a lot better. I love it how you did it on the side, though. I do like that yeah, design. Yeah, I like the side designs better. Already looking great. Okay. You could even stop there if you wanted to. Yeah, you could. A little bit more. You need a little bit more yeah. color, but okay. it's really So pretty. we're going to start adding some color. Um, in our arrangement from the funeral home, we had these pretty orange tulips, and it is springtime. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping... Now you see these have like a little point thing on there. It's a pick machine mm -hmm. that they use from Flower Shop. I'm cutting those off because we don't need them at all. And I'm just going to put a little glue on here. And again, I'm going back to the top to start. And I'm just going to put my flower down in there. This makes me want to go home and do a, a, an arrangement, make a wreath. <laughs> well, I think you should, Dim. Maybe we should have a class. I one think day. you should do that, yes. But again, I'm not a professional, so take that class at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you how good you are. I would trust you. Let me get a little shorter one here. Just building the flowers. And I'm sliding them in sideways. I'm not pushing them to the back of the wreath because you don't want a bunch of stems sticking out the back either. So here's how it's looking. Mm, looks great. Looks okay. great. It's getting there. Do one more tulip. I'm gonna leave the this leaf on this one. It's a perfect time to be doing this too, and yes. being a spring arrangement. Yep, just it's time it. to take your take down anything winter you've yes. got and put some spring up in there. I have right. daffodils blooming. Really, time, I've, right I've seen time. them. I've yeah. seen them too. Okay. Need another one? No, I'm good. You just gonna shove that back on there. Okay, this is like some lime green flower. I don't know what kind of flower, but I'm going to add that in somewhere. Somewhere. But first, let me give some more orange here. This is a different. It's kind of a lighter orange flower. I'm going to push this, the leaf up so you can see the leaf mm -hmm. on it. And then I'm going to I'm going to put it in our arrangement. And that's what this is. I mean, it's like you are arranging flowers even though it is in the shape of a wreath. You're you're it's doing flower way. arranging. So that gives it a little bit of shade different. We're going to do the same thing up top. Sometimes you have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it to fit, okay? To go where you want it. Yep. How's it oh, looking? It's looking great. Okay. Now, I will add a little bit of this lime green. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm not sure I want this whole thing on there or not. I'll have to give it a try. It's pretty thick, but. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 
it didn't look right, you can always jerk it out of there. <laughs> it's like, nope, you can't stay. I'm going up top just because of the way this one's bent. That kind of adds a little dimension to it, mm -hmm. color wise. And then I'll add one down on the bottom. This way, and you like I said, you can bend these whichever way you need to. And after we're done, there will be some bending <laughs> going on. Okay, I'm gonna slide this one right in here. Okay, now, so I'm not sure I want these in there or not. Just looking. What do you think, Dan? Well, I'll hold it up and let's see. I think they look pretty. I think it looks great. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to add a couple of these. I don't know what these are. No, they no almost either. look like a Hawaiian type it does. flower. Yeah. So that'll kind of give it some interest. Um, and I'm going to poke them. I know exactly where I want to put them. And my favorite word when I'm arranging flowers is poke. <laughs> I like to poke them in there. I like that because it makes it look like it's jumping out at you. Add one more of those. We're almost done, y'all. Almost done. Okay. As you do this more and more, it'll get easier and easier. Maybe the first few times you'll be a little nervous about it, but after a while you get used to it and you instinctively know where you want the flowers yeah. to go. I can tell that you have the instinct. Well, I just done it a long time, Jimmy. Uh -huh. Thanks to my red food days. All right, now one other thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of purple. I, there wasn't any purple in there. But I have these cute little purple lavenders, yeah. lavender flowers in there. I don't know if I'll add those or these. Or maybe, maybe I won't add. I also have these for Cynthia. For Cynthia. Oh, wow. Such are pretty. Those remind me of spring. Oh, they do. They are a good spring flower. They're usually the first thing you see blooming. Uh-huh. So, let's add just a couple of those. And you can cut up these things however you want to. <coughs> you don't always have to have a full stem of something. You can have little pieces. And that works just fine. I think I'm going to bring them right here at the bottom. And then right at the top. And maybe a few in the middle. I'm not real sure I'll add the purple. I kind of like all these yellows. A little bit more forsythia. I used to have a boss that called it forsynthia. Oh, really? And I got in the habit of calling it that, and now I say forsynthia, <laughs> but it's forsythia. All right. I'm just going to add some coming out here, like, hello, spring. <laughs> fun. Get the glue off there. Now let me um, cut these ribbons. This is not the greatest bow, Debbie. It's not? No. It looks like the greatest to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're sweet. Na, 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 na. All oh. even. Oh, oh no. no way. Don't I do keep, it that way. I, I keep saying that song, <laughs> singing that song. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, Ready I don't know if them? we're done, but we're about to see Let's if we're see. done. Oh, 
That looks so pretty. You like? I love it. It's beautiful. Okay. I hope Diane likes it and Diane's mom likes it. Now, it. another thing you can do is you can take more ribbon and wrap it around if you want to. Oh, that's a good idea. I like mm -hmm. it like that, though. You like it yeah. like this? Okay. So, we're going to stop right there. It's on low battery. <laughs> My battery's running down, y'all. So we're gonna stop right there. I wanted you to see how easy it is and how um, you can take something that's special and make it into something you can keep for a long time. Now this arrangement will make two or three more arrangements and I think I'm gonna go ahead and make her, um, at some point, a large arrangement, maybe to put on her table or something like that out of what's left. That's good. So anyway, but this Beautiful. will be something she can put on her door and um, so glad y'all watched tonight, Debbie. Um, they don't see your face. <laughs> my my cohort here. I know nothing about flowers. She does flowers for me. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah. when I when I get time, right? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. good to see y'all tonight, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.